First of all, this morning I almost got in a car accident with Kyrie. You're the break after the bend. How much farther will we fall? And I'll wait for us to land. Still suspended, it's still dark. When I looked over my plans, this wasn't there yet. Here we are. You're the break after the bend. How much farther will we fall? How much farther can we Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kima. And today, oh my God, I'm so proud of myself for the simple fact that I got the boys up and out the house early this morning. We weren't late. I went food shopping, I went to Walmart, put all the food away when I came back. Started on dinner. And guess what, it's only 11.31 and I got so much done. The only thing I have to do right now is finish my assignment for next week because it's due. That's going to be my final assignment for this course. If you don't know, I'm taking clinical laboratory science. Um, it's fairly easy. You just have to make sure you read your notes, stay on top of your readings, and participate, do homework. Like the basic stuff. But anyway, it's not due till next week, but I want to get it out the way because Kyrie just got invited to a birthday party and it says for him to bring like a swimsuit and something else they said. So this is how it looks. It says to bring a swimsuit and towel. I like to get all my work done throughout the week so on the weekends I can enjoy my weekend. You know, do stuff with the boys. I don't have to worry about, you know, trying to get other stuff done. I can't operate like that. Like I like to get stuff done to make my life easier. I did some morning affirmations. I stretched this morning. Like today was really a good day. So I'm proud of myself for having a productive day. Not only that, like everything was like perfect timing. Like I got everything done. Cause normally when I start cooking dinner in the morning, I'm usually not done till like two, which is around the time I would come home from work, but it'll be done way before that. So like I said, I just have to do my assignment. Another thing I wanted to do was get my driver's license. I've been driving around without my driver's license. I just got my passport. Cause if you don't know, I got robbed and they stole all my IDs, my credit cards, everything, right? So I've been like in the process of getting everything back, but it's been like a whole two months and they still never sent me my driver's license. I already paid the $39 to get a new one. Usually I go through my journal or my to-do list of things I need to do and I see it on the list that I was supposed to follow up with my driver's license. So I was like, let me call the 1-800 number. Normally when you call 1-800 numbers, uh, it's like 24-7 all day. So I called, they directed me to the website and they said they're not able to process my ID. I need to go to the nearest ID section and figure it out. So I need to do that before we take another trip out of town because I can't be driving around without a license. That's not okay. So I think I'm gonna do that either tomorrow or Friday, but I will call them. Only thing, um, they have this thing called the real ID now. And if they want me to take a new picture, I just want my hair to be done. Like my hair is done now, but I want like my hair down. If you get what I'm saying, like for pictures, I always like driver's license, any type of photo ID. I always like my hair down, it just looks better. I'm weird like that. Cause like when you take a picture like this, it's just, you look bald headed. I don't like that. <laughs> so I'm just waiting for the chicken to be done. I made baked chicken, yellow rice, pinto beans, collard greens, potatoes, nope. sweet potatoes. And I'm debating if I should make cornbread with it or just go back and get some dinner rolls. Cause I know we, we really be liking the dinner rolls, but we'll see. And then I got us some fruit, apples, oranges, bananas. I'm tired of buying them like all that sweet stuff. Every time I turn around, Trey wants something sweet to snack on. He needs to start snacking on fruits. It's good for him. I mean, I eat fruit, so why shouldn't he, right? But yeah, um, let me get back to this assignment and I'll probably check in with y'all later on. It's not really much else to vlog because I already went food shopping this morning and I didn't have my camera so I was just like, I'll just catch up with y'all later and tell y'all everything but yes, today's a good day. So I'll speak to y'all later. So then if you buy you push you, me if you buy you brother, me if you buy you old designer, baby it's for you, 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 girl you my champion lover. Hopefully, God, I am. Baby, my father, I am. Baby, it's for you. Only I do know my mama. 
Oh, yeah, do proper, proper. Oh, yeah, stop proper, proper. Number one lover, lover. Nobody bada, bada. Nobody cleaner, cleaner. Nobody other, other. It's for you, 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 you. My love, my own show, ma. Oh, yeah, do no, ma. Make us spend all that. It's for you, 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 you. My love on my own show, ma Oh, yeah, do no, ma Make us spend dollar Baby, so you, 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 yeah My love on my own show, ma Oh, yeah, do no, ma Make us spend dollar Hey, y'all Like, is it still May? May has just been A very overwhelming month for me First of all, this morning I almost got in a car accident with Kyrie. Um, I was taking him to school and I put on my right blinker to go to the right, obviously, because I didn't want to miss the turn to take him to daycare. Well, anyway, I heard somebody honking. So I looked in my rear view mirror and it was a car. I wasn't able to get over in time. So I had to swerve back into the lane that I was in because I didn't see the car in my blind spot. But um, it was so embarrassing. Like Kyrie was like, why did that man honk at you? That is so rude. And I'm like, Kyrie, I was in the wrong because I should have looked back like that. I just looked at the side window or whatever, but I was so embarrassed that I had to like, literally, like I was looking up in my rearview mirror to see like if the person was like cursing me out or something like that, um, but they weren't, but it was still embarrassing. So I just kind of like reached over on the side to grab my glasses and I just literally was like, put on my glasses. And yeah, like if he would have pulled up on the side of me, I would have pulled down my window and just apologized because I just felt bad. Like I felt so bad and embarrassed. Like dang, I be trying to watch out for people like me. Here I am. But anyway, um, yeah, so I have this long list of stuff that I need to do. So I have to go to Walmart. I'm always at Walmart. But I gotta pick up some groceries to make some dinner tonight. Um, Eric said he wanted lasagna, but nope. I think I'm going to do sloppy joe and some potato wedges or fries because that's quicker and I don't feel like standing over the stove and prepping for lasagna. I just want to like hurry up and make the meat and then put it on some burger buns. So that's the type of stuff that I got to get from Walmart. And I'm also going to get my toes done today because tomorrow is Kyrie's graduation. <laughs> Tomorrow's Kyrie's graduation, so... I bought him his own cap and gown because I wanted to like do a DIY on how I did my cap and gown. Like I customized it, I had my name on it. They have a bunch of those and I think it's just so cute. But today is literally the day before so I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do that. But if I don't get to do his cap, I will get his gown with his name on it or something. Something like I did it or the best is yet to come. Something like that. I don't know. Then I got to get a pan of chicken for his graduation tomorrow. They're having like a potluck. It's like a picnic potluck for the graduation. So I said I was gonna make the chicken but I don't feel like staying over the stove again like making fried chicken. So I'm gonna just try to see if I can order it ahead of time and then just pick it up tomorrow because they open at 10 and the graduation starts at 10. Bruh. Then I have to hand in all of this paperwork for Kyrie because we don't live in the same zip area as the school he's supposed to go in. So ever since we moved, we used to live in an apartment before the house and the apartment was in the same district or area as the school that Trey goes to now. Every couple of months, I have to fill out a waiver to like explain why I want him to still go there because he's not in the district. So now that Kyrie is graduating, I have to do the same thing for him. And the process is taking a little bit longer because he's gonna be a new student starting kindergarten. And I have to get like um, a physical, his dental, two birth certificate, proof of address, immunization, record, they need proof of that, emergency card, a home language survey, supplementary information form, student health history, it's just so much other stuff, photo release form. So I have to do all of this, all right? So I finally finished filling out everything yesterday. I just had to go get proof of address. And then I'm gonna go to Staples and print that out because uh, I don't have nothing current right now. It's because it's the end of the month. So usually everything comes in the beginning of the month and they need something that's current. Um, what else I gotta do? I gotta get my nails done, get groceries. Not my nails, I gotta get my feet done because I wanna wear these sandals tomorrow. Oh, that's another thing. I gotta get Kyrie shoes. 
shoes. He don't have any shoes to wear with his graduation outfit tomorrow. And I have to call his daycare and ask them, is he gonna still be able to attend even after graduation? Because I'm in class now. That's another thing, so. It's so messed up. This is week four of the course that I'm taking and I have to hand in all my assignments before Sunday. <laughs> So yeah, a part of me wanna just lay here and take a nap and then get everything started, but my naps don't be like 15, 20 minutes. My naps be like four hours long. So I'm not gonna do that because I literally don't have any time to relax. So I'm glad I did eat. I did make me some breakfast this morning. I had an egg omelet with some cranberry juice. I took my vitamins and my face is breaking out on this side again. This is my so let me put that down. I have to go to Target and get some patches. I forget what it's called, but I know how it looks. It's to like get all that stuff out my cheek. Cause I don't want to pick with my bump and then it get dark and you know, leave a mark and stuff. So I gotta do that. Since Kyrie graduates tomorrow, Trey's last day of school is next week, Thursday. And then I also have an appointment to get my hair braided because it's getting hot. Today's gonna be 101 degrees. Yesterday was 104 degrees. And I just need braids in my hair because the heat in my hair don't go. Since it is hot, now I need to take all these jackets and sweaters and stuff and put them in the boxes in the garage and start bringing out all the summer stuff because it's hard sometimes in the morning trying to get them like shorts and stuff because this weather just hit. It was still kind of chilly last week. So I still had to wear sweaters and long sleeves and stuff like that. But now this week they hit us with the triple digits. So that's another task I have to do. That's not nothing on this list that I need to do. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all. All right, so. Kyrie graduates tomorrow, and then Trey has this award ceremony tomorrow also. And he's basically getting two awards, and it's the same day as Kyrie's graduation. But the good thing about it, his starts at 8.30, and Kyrie's doesn't start until 10 o'clock. So I'll have enough time, you know, to go to Trey's and go to Kyrie's. I know I'm rambling, I'm saying a lot, but I'm not even getting up to do anything. So let me get up. Oh, I didn't even show that. Kyrie got his picture. Look y'all, look at Kyrie, y'all. Like, I remember when he first started daycare. He was so young. I think he was what, one? He was one years old. It's been four whole years and now he's off to kindergarten. But yeah, y'all, I'll probably check with y'all later. I'm not gonna be vlogging any of this. It's too much, it's too much. I just wanted to let y'all know what I was doing today. So yeah, I think the first stop I'm gonna go to is the mall. Cause he needs shoes, like that's a must. I gotta make sure he has shoes to wear tomorrow. Let me take all of this stuff with me. Cause I gotta drop this off at the school cause they need it before next week to get him registered on time. So there's no hassle or them telling me, oh no, he can't start school. I don't need to hear that. It's not something that I need to hear, okay? I'm putting these glasses. In front of my hair is like curling up and I already done put gel down. That's why I need my hair braided. And that's next week. I was going to get it done for Kyrie's graduation. But I'll figure something out for my hair. Like, I know how to, like, quickly do a quick little hairstyle for myself. But something to last long, I need great. Okay, make sure I got everything. It's already 93 degrees right now. And it's... Time is it? Didn't I say I wasn't going to vlog? I'm not going to be vlogging any of this. Psych! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, the funniest thing happened yesterday. I had on my headband wig, right? And I was buying Kyrie a uh, Icy. Tell me while I was putting on my seatbelt and I went to grab for the icy and my whole wig slid back as I was grabbing the icy from the guy. He didn't make it hot. Maybe he didn't see, but I knew. I felt the whole thing coming off. And then when I was done, I just rolled up my window. I looked at my rear view mirror and I seen my stocking cap for my wig just sitting on top of my head as my wig was just laid in the back. It's because I have this cushion right here for my back because my 
back be bothering me. And I sit on a, a cushion to make me sit up higher. And my aunt put me on to that. It's like one of those cushions you would put on a patio chair. So I do that. Eric hated because when he had a job in my seat, everything is all close to the steering wheel. This is the utmost comfort for me. That's why I don't like driving in his car because I just feel like out of place. So that was the highlight of my day, my wig coming off. My back was leaning on it, so when I pulled up, I just realized like, but I guess I didn't secure it properly because that thing was gone, you hear me? It was laying in the seat, like chilling. But yeah, hopefully pray that I'm able to get all of this stuff done. I'ma force myself to do it because I don't need no stressing out. I don't need any of that today. I'm gonna get everything done and that'll be that. And I also gotta go check my PO box. I swear, like I just keep adding more stuff. It's not a must that I do that though. So let me stop, let me take it easy. Let me just prioritize. The important stuff needs to happen today. So everything I put down on that list, needs to happen today everything else i'm mentioning after that not a big deal so i'll speak to y'all later this is Kyrie's capping gown and i'm gonna try to get them to put his name on it um at the mall i'm at the mall right now we're about to go in here and see what they say hopefully they can have it done by the end of the day today he could just put it on tomorrow so video <sighs> okay y'all here's an update y'all sure can see my forehead is sweating alexa psych alexa hey siri what is the degrees it's about 97 degrees outside it feels like 110 um okay so all right so let me let me look at my list I just left Walmart. I got all the groceries I needed to get for, from Walmart. I got my toes done. Um, all right, so did that. Oh, I didn't go to Family Healthcare Network. I have to do that today. I have to drop off Kyrie's medical and dental paperwork so they can fill it out so I can give it to the school. Have to do that today. But I'm gonna go home and cook first because it's already two o'clock and they're about to get home and I wanna at least make sure that they have something to eat by the time they get home. So, we are going to... I can't cook on an empty stomach, so we're gonna go to Chipotle and give me something to eat so I can eat and cook at the same time, multitask. It is so hot and I forgot to bring my water. Let me make sure I look back and stuff now because... Um, I can't be trusted. I really can't be trusted when it comes to driving. No, I can be trusted. Like, I never got in no real car accident. Like, the car accident that I got in in 2020 wasn't my fault. Somebody hit me from the back. I was at a stop sign, so boom. I need to go to Target and get this stuff on my face, but I don't have time right now. Ooh, so much somebody was yelling at me. Um, so where I said we going? Oh, Chipotle. Chipotle to give me something to eat. And then we're gonna go straight home. Because I have groceries in the bag and it's hot and I don't need the cheese and whatever else I got back there to melt. So, we gotta hurry up. So yeah, I just wanted to give y'all that little update. I couldn't find no shoes for Kyrie. I went to Children's Place, I went to Ross, I went to JCPenney, and I went to Kohl's and I just came out of Walmart to try to see if they had shoes for him like dress shoes to go with like a nice little suit because he has like a navy blue pinstripe suit to wear tomorrow and it's not that they didn't have shoes they just didn't have his size because obviously you know it's the graduation time apparently everybody wears a size 10 in kids because they don't have no size 10 and it was these cute cute shoes that I seen and um children's place oh my god it was so cute and it was on sale for like seven dollars the original price was like 30 something i'm like no wonder ain't no more but famous footwear i'm gonna have to come back like i said i need to go home first and cook and then once i finish cooking it's not gonna take me that long to make that uh, sloppy joe and potato wedges so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna come back go to 
famous footwear and if they don't have it there then he just gonna have to wear sneakers or we just gonna have to find a new outfit in the house for him to wear like it's not that big of a deal i can't stress myself out about that i just want to make sure he has a haircut because them peas uh -uh. them peas gotta go so as long as he has a haircut i'm cool yeah so let me go in here and give me something to eat i should be pulling up to chipotle really soon and it's packed <laughs> all right so we gonna park right here so i will speak to y'all later okay one hour later hey y'all so i'm back home and i was able to get everything done thank god i had to take out that ponytail because i was catching a headache all the ripping and running today Kyrie's getting his hair cut for his big day tomorrow. Are you excited for tomorrow, Kyrie? I'm excited for the new toy you're going to get. What? know who told me to go get a brazilian wax but i went to go get a brazilian wax so i'm kind of just eh, the pain is excruciating at least for me it was i got that done i got my feet done everything i said i was going to get done today i got done i just had to pick that up. chicken tomorrow i already paid for it i'm just so tired the girl is tired i need to get in the tub and i need to do my homework this time and my exam because it's already posted but I just, I don't have it in me right now, so I definitely gotta get it done tomorrow. So I'll probably take a bath, go in the room, and probably just bust it out while I'm in the room. That way I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. Because I feel like tomorrow's gonna be another busy day, especially since Harry is gonna be home after his graduation. So he's gonna be bugging me about what he wanna do. Harry talking about some toy he wants. But I got his balloons in the car. He got balloons, a car and I bought him some toys. I think I'm gonna just end this vlog here and we will probably catch up on the day of graduation. I will speak to you.